closed almost every Sydney beach today. Reporter Lizzie Pearl is near Tamarama tonight. Lizzie, what's the situation as we go to air? Well, Pete, these wild seas are still battering much of Sydney's coastline. These conditions have already claimed one victim this afternoon. A male surfer aged in his 20s has been pulled from the water at Palm Beach unconscious. He's been given CPR and his pulse has returned. However, he's in a serious condition at Royal North Shore Hospital. Now, these wild seas and dangerous currents are expected to continue tomorrow. The forecast is for big swirls between three to four metres breaking dangerously close on on shore so the forecast will be that most of our beaches will be closed again tomorrow however lifeguards will be reassessing the situation in the morning the other concern here is Pete though the pollution because of the heavy rain last night the concern is that increased pollution levels and bacterial contamination at our beaches so the advice is is just to stay out of the water for the next couple of days Pete all right Lizzie thank you as the rain recedes stories of survival are beginning to emerge one couple on the state's far north coast say they're lucky to be alive after their home was battered by winds for 48 hours. Cut off from help for the past two days. Kathy and Brad Hurst realise just how lucky they are. It's like a tornado for the whole two days. It's incredible. The couple was in their Tiagra home north of Byron Bay on Sunday night when the wild storm hit. This morning, Nine News joined the team from Byron Bay Tree Services as they tackled the floodwaters to reach the Hursts. We did one earlier this morning. It wasn't, it was a big tree leaning on a house, but nothing like this. This is just, yeah, everything seems to have fallen down in this one. The first massive flooded gum tree crushed the Hurst car, cut power and clipped the front of the house. We're not too sure with the rest of the house because the tree's up against it so I can't see it. Trailer. The car's written off. But Mother Nature wasn't done yet. 24 hours later, vicious wind gusts brought down two more enormous gums. Well, so it was just roaring the whole time. Like, the crash was enormous, but it was just the wind was roaring. So it sounded like a train coming. Frankly, the hearse are lucky to be alive. They say if a tree this big had have landed squarely on the house, they wouldn't have survived. And we would have been gone for sure. While the trees will soon be gone, the total damage is yet to be realised. And all this on Cathy's birthday. In nearby Lismore, the Wilsons River failed to break levee banks overnight. Although a caravan park had to be evacuated and the Bruxner Highway was closed, the city dodged a bullet. This is the hangover of the North Coast deluge. Normally pristine beaches from Ballina to Byron Bay covered in a blanket of froth whipped up by the churning seas. Now, it only needs a couple of high tides and it'll wash it back out, most probably. On the far north coast, Simon Boda, Nine News.